Welcome back. Kristen, would you tell us a little bit about your altar and why you set it up the way you did? Okay. Um, well, this right here is my Greens of Paradise. We were making wishes with them earlier, um, which evidently ended up in this vase, which I will be taking back to my home and spreading them to the winds on the beach so that everybody's wishes can come true. And this was everybody's negativity that was burned in the cauldron. These are candles to represent the quarters oh. and the elements. And you got the goddess candle and the god candle. This right here is a shea butter because that is representing Oya because that is one of her favorites. Got a little bit of sage there to cleanse everybody. Would you show us your athame since that's a very beautiful piece of artwork? Oh yes because I love my wolves. So of course it's got the wolves on there and the nice wolf on the handle. It's my favorite. I love it. Is the wolf your totem animal? Yes it is. Do you only have one totem or do you have more than one? I would say that the wolf is my only totem. I would definitely say that's my only totem. And this is an interesting statue. You just hit it with the athlete. Oh, but <laughs> that is the triple goddess right there. It's hard to see because she's so small. And what are the aspects of a triple goddess? The mother, the maiden, and the crown. <laughs> Just re represent the young. I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. It represents the cycle of a woman's life. Yeah. Thank you. No I was like, let me be careful. Well, find ground without, without one. Yeah. Because, you know. Because according to some people, 60 is ancient. Yeah. Is and I was, you know, I really was really afraid that I was going to offend somebody so I'm like, let me not go yeah. there. And you said the, uh, the elements. What do each of the colors represent? What element? Well, this is south, this is red, and that is fire. Then you have blue for air, green for earth, and Blue is for Blue water, for actually. Water water. Excuse me. I know, it's been a long day. Oh, my God. And yellow is and actually. That, that's what I was getting around to that, and I was like, wait, I'm wrong. No, that's I'm okay. So I can sorry. tell you realized. Yeah, that's why when I got to yellow, I was like, wait, what did wait, I what just do? I just did mess that up. <laughs> but, yes. And you have a bell. Why the bell? Well, um... The bell we were ringing after we called the god and the goddess to our circle. A little welcoming. <laughs> now, what exactly is in the cauldron? In the cauldron are a couple of herbs. Uh, we did throw rings of paradise in there. There was also um, whorehound and comfrey. Um, what do all three of those herbs represent? Do they represent something different or a general? They all theme? generally represent the same thing. Um, they're supposed to help in releasing negativity, which is why I chose them to get rid of everybody's negativity because they're supposed to bring brighter and better things into your life. Now, for cakes now, you have, it's not here, everybody finished it. I'm just going to pretend it's here. Um, great. Grape punch, yes, because uh, grapes is another thing that uh, Oya is is one of her, is kind of like a offering to her because she, uh, that was one of her things. And why the green sugar cookies? The green sugar cookies is actually just my personal touch. Okay. Yes. Well, you had green and white sugar cookies. They yes. looked really, they looked wonderful. And yes, there was half delicious. green, half white, yes. Tell us about the besom, the besom. Did you make that yourself or did someone create that for you? It was actually created by somebody and I purchased it 
at Practical Magic. Um, but I couldn't help myself because it's green, which not to say that green is one of my favorite colors, but it happens to be my daughter's favorite color. So therefore, I, of course, she's a part of my life. So I had to incorporate that with my life. And green represents money also. Absolutely. And what was the incense you used tonight? It was very enchanting. Um, the incense was actually um, protection. That because I wanted to make sure I burned a little bit of protection for everybody in the circle. It was a very, too very much. good choice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? That you may yes. Have? Um. We have a star coming up in a couple weeks. What advice would you give anybody looking for a star? Advice as far as having their own ritual or advice in general, like like preparedness and um. Well, I do know with our star coming up. Uh, Eggs are a very big thing for a star. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly. I'll, I'll give you this question, okay? Any young people looking into the craft, mm -hmm. what would you, what, what words of advice would you give them? Search your heart. If things don't feel right in the religion or the path that you're following, chances are it's not what's meant to be for you. And how long have you been practicing? I would say that I was into Wicca very long ago, probably in my high school years. I, even in my high school years, I had my, divin my divination of medicine cards. I always did that and I was never really at home in the Catholic Church and then I dabbled a little bit here and there with candles and stuff like that, you know, really moderate, solitary stuff. And then obviously when I found a close by Wiccan community, it just changed everything. It was like everything fell into place, everything that I was about, the animals, the nature, the candles, the, you know, the beauty of believing in magic and all that stuff, everything just kind of fell into place. And then I was like, wow, I belong, I found my family. And it was just a complete match. And the purple altar cloth. Another one of Oya's favorite colors. It was another offering to her to draw her to our circle. Not to say that Shango is less important, but no, no, no. But the full moons are all about the galaxy. Absolutely, absolutely. And anything that made her presence. You yeah. definitely felt a lot of energy tonight at the ritual. It was very enjoyable. Thank you, thank you. I definitely did have a fabulous time. There was a lot of energy going around, and everybody that was here made it that much better. I'm sorry, you may have said it before. Where are you going to throw the grains of paradise? I'm actually going on the beach because the actual way that you're supposed to disperse of grains of paradise is going in order of the um, north, the uh, actually starting in the east. I, I'm wait, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Normally, generally, we always start in the east for everything, but in or when you're getting rid of grains of paradise, you're supposed to start in the north, go to the east, the south, and the west, mm -hmm. and you're supposed to throw them to the winds, obviously beautiful shop. I did not want everybody throwing them to the winds in here. Yeah, I think so, I might have killed you on that one. Yeah, so I figured by going to the beach, I had the air, the water, the earth, you know, I, I had all my elements present and I figured it was the best place to get rid of them. Well, thank you very much. It was well, a wonderful you. ritual. We'll see you soon for llamas. Yeah. Any final thoughts? I think it was great. Everyone should enjoy the full moon and just Enjoy. Blessed be. Blessed be, Blessed everybody. Be.